Hey, Grace family and friends, Pastor Jay here with your daily encouragement. So someone wise once said that if you obey the first two of the Ten Commandments, you'll actually end up obeying all of the commandments. And one of those places those commandments are found is in Exodus 20. And the first commandment is, you shall have no other gods before me. And the second commandment is, you shall create or have no idols. And as I was thinking about the wisdom of that, I was reminded of this season that we all find ourselves in and that I find myself in personally. It seems like this last year has challenged every possible thing that could be an idol in our lives. And again, an idol in many ways is defined as something that's a good thing that we make into the ultimate thing. And really that's true of of sin, that so much of sin and brokenness is taking a good thing and distorting it or hijacking it to be something it was never intended to be. So I think about this last year and I think about things like familiarity, comfort, routine, uh, materialism, politics. You fill in the blank. It seems like all these good things that we come to appreciate and sometimes appreciate too much and make into idols have been exposed to be just that. That there are things like comfort by way of example, like we mentioned, that can become way too important to us. And so I've been doing business with that just in my own thinking and my own reflections with what the Lord has been teaching me in this extended season that we're all in of nothing being quote unquote normal. That the things that have been challenged or changed by the last several months in some ways and in some places in my life had way too much importance and to put that another way they had become somewhat of an idol in my life I mean what my job looks like what it means for me to be a lead pastor in this season how I even do the the, the daily things that I think need to be done as I do my part to help shepherd and serve and lead our church even that's changed my daily life now as your pastor, as one of your pastors, is very different than it was a year ago, simply because of this season that we're in. So all that being said, what are those good things in your life that have been challenged by our circumstances, by what has been happening in all of our lives this last year? And it doesn't necessarily mean those things have taken on too much importance in the past or maybe have become idols, but it certainly begs the question, have any of those things become too important to you? What are those good things in your life that you can have a tendency to make the ultimate thing? Will you allow God, through the circumstances that come our way and are coming our way, expose those so that as a result you trust Him more? You choose to rely upon Him more. You choose to turn to His Word more for perspective. You choose to lean into the community that we also desperately need more. So how is God challenging and confronting the potential idols in your life, and what are you doing about it? That's the thought, the question I would like to leave you with today. God bless you. God encourage you. May He be with you. May He remind you of His presence. And I hope that you will love and trust Him more and more each day.